Alright, so we're on our way to the orphanage. And this is just our our daily walk. It's uh, what time is it? Seven? Uh, seven o'clock? Seven a.m. Almost. Seven a.m. Yeah, this is just a typical walk in uh, in Calcutta. You can hear a lot of horns. They love their horns here. So loud. It is so loud. But um, and uh, no privacy. No privacy. The uh, the people are are great. They're great. It's just. Man, the living conditions are really tough. Really tough. What a lot of people do is they have like their stores and they'll have like, see that guy right there up ahead, he has like a, a Pepsi shop. Or someone will sell like a, like, um, kind of like a chicken roll or some kind of store and they'll live in their stores or outside their stores and sleep on the concrete and then work during the day and then sleep out and like live outside. I honestly think it looks almost as if the majority of people sleep outside. This street's kind of empty right now, but... What's up, man? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. <laughs> Some people speak English like that. Well, most people can't understand. Hey guys, what up? How are you doing? I am fine, man. Good, good. This is my big brother. What's up? Big brother. Big brother? Yeah. Oh, good. Mechanic. Mechanic. Oh, nice. Engineer. Engineer. Oh, okay. Good. Hey, great to meet you. Great to meet you. <laughs> See you guys. You can see everyone's real nice. They love to meet Amer Americans. <laughs> Jeremy, how would you describe Calcutta in a couple, a sentence or two? In a sentence or two? It's very poor, but uh, people are really content with it. It's just like their way of life. Hey guys. Yeah, I'd agree with you. I feel like they're sometimes more content than we are. Yeah, every time we go outside, there's always someone asking us for money. Every time. Hello. And it breaks my heart because we can't give every time. Well, today we're going to um, an orphanage. Diadon. Diadon, and we're gonna go to the park and play with some kids. And uh, this whole week we've been teaching them English and math, and it's been a lot of fun. And it, we've been working with some special ed kids, doing physical therapy, stuff like that. And uh, we're, we're hoping to get more involved with the church down here, but you'd be surprised, there's no one here. I feel like there's very few people that are Christians. 
everyone is either Muslim or Hindu or I, I don't know and we it's hard to talk to them because they don't speak English so all we can do is like give away a, a food or our clothes and just say the word Jesus that's all we do is say, <laughs> I'll give someone a sandwich and say Jesus and hopefully I don't know, plants a seed somewhere but hey bud um, so yeah, please just be just be praying that somehow God uses what we're doing, and I know we're definitely God is using us to affect the kids' lives. But we want to make the name of Jesus known, and it's kind of hard when you don't speak the language, you know. Um, but we're just praying and letting God use us, and uh, and just trying to make life better for these people somehow. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. We got like a three-minute walk left, and I miss all of you. Jeremy, got something? To say? Love you guys. Love you guys. And uh, yeah, be thankful for home because America is awesome. <laughs> I miss my swimming pool. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I miss not sweating 24 7. I, I miss not playing pool basketball. Oh yeah, pool basketball. All right. God bless.